everyone welcome to permutations with reputation uh, repetitions this is Nicholas JMV uh, let's go ahead and talk about this so we know that permutations and combinations um, are different and permutations talk about order matters and I've, I've said many times that with with combination order does not matter but here we are that we have to really think about these are these are permutations and combina combinations are arrangements where the objects are non-repeating, they're distinct, okay? And that's a big question a lot of us had in class. Both of them deal with non-repeating values, okay? So non-repetition, non-repeating. So in this example today, we're going to talk about, well, what happens if you have something that repeats? And the definition's a little funky. Um, so let's say if we have a set of n objects has n sub 1 of a, one kind of object, n sub 2 of another kind of object, and n sub 3 of a third kind of object, and so on and, and so forth for uh, k different types of objects. So that n equals n sub 1 plus n sub 2, and it should be n sub k here, okay? And, and so then the number of distinguishable, that is the number of different non-repeating permutations, would be the following n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 all the way to n sub k. That's our definition. So this definition to me is a little bit challenging, I guess, because it's like, well, what does n equal? And so let's look at a quick example of when we see this happen. So let's say in our example, if a sack has three red marbles, two blue marbles, and one white marble, how many possible permutations would there be when drawing six marbles one at a time? So the big thing here, it's different than just labeling pieces of paper one, two, three, four, five, six, and just pulling them out, okay? And we've seen that before with permutations. This is different because we have red marbles here, okay? We have three of them, and we can't distinguish between them, just like our blue. You have two blue marbles and you can't distinguish them, okay? And that's the idea here. So when we have a permutation that has repetition, okay, we can say it's a permutation with a repetition or a non-distinguishable permutation. And so that's when we're going to use our formula. In this case, we have n equals 6. Why? Because n is equal, in this case we have three distinct objects, you have n sub 1 plus n sub 2 plus n sub 3, and the distinct objects here, n sub 1 is equal to 3, that's 3 red, n sub 2 is equal to 2, and n sub, th oops, n sub 3 is equal to 1. So the objects here, n1 is the 3 red marbles, 2 blue, and 1 white. So we set up our equation as follows. So we can find the distinguishable permutations by using this formula. So we have 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial. Okay? And that's how we get the number of different distinguishable permutation. That total now becomes 60. Okay, so that is how we find the number of distinguishable permutations when something's repeated, when a when an object is repeated. So if you guys have any questions or comments on that, let me know and we'll see you next time.